Hi guys, this is DJ here. Welcome to the Great Indian Rooftop Garden. I am sitting with my two-year-old jack bean plant. Uh, this is a large bean. It's called Thamma in Telugu. I love this bean. Its taste, its flavor is slightly more intense than a bean, and its flavor is retained even when you cook it. And it, uh, you know, when you take a normal bean and cook it, it kind of loses its uh, texture. But this one retains its texture because it's so thick and so big. So I love that. And it's kind of a perennial. This one is two years old. I planted this uh, when I set up this garden. Pretty much, uh, I would say 2012, ending of 2012 is when I planted this. And it gave me good harvest last year. Survived throughout the summer without much watering. And then this year it came back strong and it's, it was uh, one of the first uh, you know, beans to start flowering. One of the first plants uh, to start flowering. This one is so loaded with beans and uh, stuff like that that it's getting pulled down. Uh, and it is still putting out flowers. I am going to harvest this uh, bean plant and I am going to talk a little bit about uh, what's happening in my garden. So here we are. I am standing in the middle of the most productive area in my garden. And for all uh, practical purposes, I have not planted this bit. This is all voluntary weed amaranth that I am getting. And I am going to harvest it now. Get a gigantic harvest of forest that you see. You can see here, I have got my snake god doing absolutely well. You see lots of snake god here. There, this. Now this is not a fully mature snake god. This is a young one, it will grow more. It will take more energy from this stage to a fully ripened stage than it is to put out a fruit like this. Now you can see flowers all around me. All these are going to become snake gods. I don't mind getting 100 tiny snake gods rather than 20 large ones. So I am going to harvest these. This one, this one I will let it stay. This one and that one and I think I have one more somewhere <laughs> that I will harvest. And here in front of me is corn. In the corn, this, this was the first thing that I planted this season. But um, I got, I you know, had I had good germination, all this would have been like this. There were sparrows that came and ate my corn after they sprouted. You know, it was not a germination problem, you know, it was more of a bird problem. Lots of birds kept on coming and eating it off, so I kept on planting corn. I don't really mind planting corn enough. For my garden, I just need one cob of seed to keep it planted even with sparrows eating it up. So what I started doing was whenever they plugged it off I started planting it in. Here I am doing a kind of an experiment. Uh, you can see that there are four or five corns coming from the same point. I will talk more about that depending on uh, what I find whether it is a success or not whether my intuition was right or not. I will talk about that. But it is a very small container if you uh, see that. It is a tiny container. It is about one feet deep and the soil is only you know, 6 to 8 inches in it, just about that much. And in that, you can see the strength with which this corn has come. There is a lot of wind from this direction. Oh, by the way, my voice is not clear and you are hearing the music out there. That is because Ganesh Chaturthi festivities are happening. And that's the music. Can't help it. Enjoy the music along with my voice. Now, you have seen the corn and you have seen uh, my snake got. Here is a giant sword bean. This is a sword bean plant, it's a creeper. That one is a shrub, right? You saw my jack bean. This one is a giant one. It's this large. The bean is this large. It's called Tiga Thamma in Telugu. It's a sword bean, gigantic one. I love that. I love the seeds, you know, the beans, whatever, the nuts inside. I'll take them out, the seed inside, and boil them and eat them. That's the way I like to eat these things. But I've got one. Here, yeah, one there right behind me and one more growing there and these are also pretty disease resistant uh, native varieties which is what I, I always recommend that people plant. So this is Ipomea Quamo Quilt, my favorite flowering plant of all time, flowering, flowering keep, creeper of all time. It is struggling to get up. I need to tie a few more uh, ropes and threads here so that it will climb up. We will see how this goes, but this is a voluntary. It came probably from the seeds that I that got dropped in my garden. 
I got uh, vermicompost compost and some soil from my garden to mix it up. So probably it came there. I don't know how it came. I didn't plant it here. Or maybe I did. I don't even remember that. Uh, maybe I dumped some seeds here. But it came up beautifully. Looking very healthy. It's going to come up. Give me a red you know, design of beautiful flowers which attract a lot of beneficial insects to my garden. To my left, this is mustard. The most beautiful sight in the morning. Come out, you have this glorious, beautiful yellow flowers. I really love that. And you can see that all the flowers came up and they became seeds here. These are mustard seeds. Of course, you can eat mustard greens, but these are mustard seeds. I am waiting for the black mustard to come. Probably self seed itself. Keep on coming up. That's the way I like this. Uh, you can eat the greens, you can eat the mustards, you can eat the flowers. But these flowers are amazing in attracting beneficial insects. Lots of insects. I have seen bees come here, flies come here, all kinds of insects come to pollinate this. I have even seen birds trying to pollinate this, They're trying to get honey from these things. This is one of the best plants to have in the garden. Now here is a secret. This is the plant I use as an indicator in my garden. When this one drops its leaves, that's when I know my garden beds are getting drier. This is the first one to drop its leaves. Not the amaranth, not the tomato, none of the others. They are all fine. This one will just start to droop. And that's when I know that things are getting dry and I water. So it's, it's kind of my indicator. This is a tip you got from DJ. You know, it's a wonderful indicator plant in container gardening to indicate the moisture level. That's how I use it. Here you see a white ashward plant that is full of ants that got rotted here. It used to be right here, just like this one, used to be sturdy, growing well, but in a matter of three days it started drooping. That is because of the borer. Oh, there are ants getting all over my hands here, so I'll be quick with this. It is called a pumpkin borer. There is, There are insects inside this. And you can see the stem here, completely rotted. It's sticky and bad. Let me try to take it out. The scissors. There it is, its root system. Fully chopped down, chomped down. This is because of the borers, uh, tiny insects that will get inside the stem and start eating it from inside out. They are all over here on the inside little grubs it is too sticky for me to open this and i don't like it but you can search for squash borers and you can see pretty gruesome images of these little bugs that are in here so there you go the first casualty of pests in my garden this one right here guys this is the northern end of my garden I have to look to you when I speak, otherwise you can't even hear me. Sorry about the noise out there, music out there. Uh, as I said, Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations. So I'm going to make this quick. My squash plants are doing great. They have started to get some fungal disease because of the rain. But as you can see behind me, squash is doing great. This squash is doing great and there's potato in the middle. I will show you this. Once the music is over, probably in my next video or the next one, I'll plant more potatoes in this row. We'll talk more about that. Sorry for the music. I have to end uh, the episode here. This is how the garden is looking beautiful. I have more things to show. I have okra to show. I have diseases that my plants have. I have to show you that. And I have to show you some of my harvest. But thanks for coming along with me on this ride. Thanks for watching the Great Indian Rooftop uh, Garden channel. If this helps you out, please do share this with your friends. Do like this because the more likes I get, the more people will watch the channel and more people will follow the same journey and hopefully learn a thing or two. With my little uh, tip to you regarding the mustard as an indicator in this video, I hope this video is, gives you more excitement and gives you a hint at the things to come. Thanks for watching. DJ signing off. Have a great day.